Well, a new CDC report warns that the flu is hitting earlier than usual and the season is already the worst in more than a decade. Gabe Gutierrez has the troubling outlook. Tonight, the CDC says the number of positive flu tests so far this season is the highest in 13 years and that one child has already died. Flu-related hospitalizations have risen dramatically in recent weeks, earlier than ever before, leading to growing concerns about a triple threat this winter, the flu, COVID, and the respiratory illness, RSV. We are at capacity all the time. Dr. Shadi Al-Salibi is a pediatrician at Mass General for Children in Boston. Unlike COVID and the flu, there's no approved vaccine yet for RSV. He's among the researchers who've been trying to create one for decades. Things are coming to a, to a head and there is like a flurry of many vaccines actually in different stages of development. This week, we've seen busy hospitals across the country. This pediatric unit is full, so is the one upstairs. From Rhode Island to Arizona to Ohio, where Cleveland Clinic Children's now says it's seeing a nearly 50% RSV positivity rate in kids five and younger. But if you're a parent caring for a sick child, the numbers don't fully capture the anxiety. I was a mess yesterday. I was crying a lot. Farah and Clifford Abelard just want their 82-day-old son home from the hospital. You never want to see your child getting um, so sick and she mm -hmm. can't tell me and that's the worst part. Today's alarming flu update from the CDC. Another reason families here are bracing for a long winter. Gabe Gutierrez, NBC News.